got to rotate. Oh. <laughs> hey, Julie Burke here, founder of Create Success with Julie.com, coming to you live from my home office. Um, just got home from Orlando on Saturday and Saturday late at night. So I am, I did not go live last week. Um, sorry, but we were at Disney and I don't think you guys wanted me to go live. Um, when little kids were running around and screaming their heads off. So I don't really know, um, who, Hey Allison, Allison, I see that you joined. Say hello girl. Um, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I really just want to talk to you guys about um, connecting and recruiting. How I recruited uh, 22, how I enrolled 22 people in a month. And if you would like to know that, then stick with me, you guys. Um, so, can we just talk about like when you come back from vacation? especially when it's the entire family real quick, like how come laundry takes freaking forever? You guys, I love vacationing, but I also um, hate it because you come back to like 500 loads of laundry. Hey guys, um, bronze goddess. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. So we were in Orlando for eight days, which literally felt like forever. I'm also simulcasting with personal and my fan page here. But anyways, um, I, we were in Disney for eight days. You guys, eight days in Disney is way too long, like way too long. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm, uh, leaving for Mexico on Wednesday. Super cool. Right. Uh, won a trip with, uh, our company. And so I'm going to be seeing some amazing leaders out there. Super excited. I get to bring my little guy. Um, my seven year old is coming with me as my plus one because my husband has to go back to his J O B. Um, so anyways, I don't know if my personal page is working, but, um, I'm just going to keep rolling with it. So we're talking about real, real quick. We're talking about how to enroll more people. And I'm going to give you guys three tips because these are the three tips, um, I have used, I have followed and have worked really, um, they have been very, very effective. So yeah, as you guys are tuning in, please say hello. Um, let's see who's here. God, I feel like I have not gone live forever on my, my page here. What's up, Amy? How are you? Hey, Michelle. How's it going? Yeah, uh, Angela from New Zealand. Yeah, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I love meeting people around the world. Um, also, make sure that you... Um, like and follow my page and click that see first so you guys could see all my videos up in the feed. And if you're new to who I am, you can head or when I'm done with this broadcast, you could check out the video library here on my fan page because I've done over 300 Facebook live videos and as well as visit uh, create success with Julie .com, uh, because over there you can download one of my many, many, many free gifts that I have for you. Um, and check that out. Also got a boo-boo today. Fun band-aid though, right? Oh my gosh, not even paying attention to what finger it is. You guys, I sliced it on a can. I had to give Lola a pumpkin and I undid the can. You guys know like how fine the top of the can is, like sliced all the way across and it hurts so bad. Okay, squirrel moment. Let me get back to it. So three tips to um, connect and recruit with more prospects and enroll more people. Number one, um, you want to target the right peeps. Okay. You want to target the right peeps and really, um, pick the right topics to talk about for your, 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 your audience. I mean, we are always trying to cast a wide net. And so, uh, stop casting a wide net and talk about what it is you want to talk about. And that is how you target the right people. That is how you start attracting the right people. And then when you do connect with them, you want to qualify them. Um, I'm just going to turn this off because I don't think, uh, I don't, I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, I don't think I went on my page, right? My personal page. So I'm just going to stick here with all of you on my final page. All right, so target the right people. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, number one way of connecting with more people, I think we all know this, is by using video, okay, and using Facebook Live. It's a way to be able to um, 
feel like an emotional connection is way more powerful than just having a text um, post, right? And so what I mean by picking the right topics is, um, well, let's just use this as an example. So I personally would not talk about fly fishing because I don't know anything about fly fishing. I don't know anything about boxing. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't talk about those things. So what I would talk about is parenting. I would talk about uh, uh, network marketing, right? I would talk about um, passive income, multiple income. I would talk about uh, the kids, you know, kids. I would talk about cooking. I would talk about fitness and health. So you want to start picking the right topics that are relevant for your target audience of who you're looking to attract to you. Then once you connect with them, you want to qualify them because again, we don't want just everybody in our business. Okay. I've had some, um, people come into my business at certain times and of course we can never gauge, you know, how well they're going to do or, you know, uh, how stable they are <laughs> in the beginning. But I've gotten with experience really good, um, at reading people. Okay. And connecting with them. All right. Number two, don't go straight for the pitch. Um, you really want to connect and meet them and don't even like when, so let me give you an example. Recently I, I was in, um, the way we build our business in my company is no longer through home parties or, uh, three way calls. I used to build my business, my old company that way, but we don't, I don't build that way anymore. So I was recently put into a chat with a team member and a prospect. And it was a great learning experience for her because she got to see me in action, right? And so I told her, just be patient because I don't go straight for the kill. Like, I don't just go straight for the pitch. So what I do is I really like to find out more about them. I like to find out more about their goals. I actually like to know why they're interested or looking at the opportunity within our company I want to hear from them. I want to know, are they in network marketing? What profession are they in? Like, I want to find out more about them. Are they a parent? Um, because those that are single are going to run their business different and have more time probably than those that are parents. So I discover, it's like a discovery session. Um, I did not share my story right away with, with them. I took my time. Um, and so as this was going through and she was actually with another company and uh, wasn't sure that she had actually enough money to, to join us at this moment. And I actually told her, well, if you can't afford to do this now, or if you can't afford this, then you can't afford not to do it. Like allow us to show you how we're building here. Right. And so I kind of just went through and massaged the conversation. And then like right at the end, I, shared my story, my why and why I left because it was that time to do it. So I didn't do it above or, um, you know, I didn't do it early on. I waited, I waited a while to share that through this conversation, through this chat. And so long story short is she responded and I just let it lie. Like I let it lie for a little bit cause it was going back and forth for, for, you know, for a while. So I gave it about 10 minutes to let it really sink in my story and what I shared with her. And sure enough, <laughs> I went back to my team member and I said, just be patient. I said, I text her. I'm like, just be patient. Sure enough, she joined that night. And so the, 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 the I guess the moral of that story is to, um, this is not just about copy and pasting you guys. This is actually about getting to know the person. Like I said, it's a discovery session and it's, it's really discovering if what you have is right for them. Because the last thing I would want to see is somebody leave their current network marketing company. If it's not a right fit for them. Okay. I know people out there are not happy, but it's not where if you are building somewhere, I don't like people to jump, just jump around. Okay. So I wanted to make sure that it was a right fit. All right, and then tip number three is um, uh, become the solution with adding value. So it's, like I said, always about adding value to that person. So during the process, it's about listening to them and asking the right questions and then offering up that value. Because the more that you do that, the more that you're going to make that connection with them and you're going to find somewhere in there that 
maybe you can share your story or you're listening to their story or how whatever that they're saying to you, you could teach them something. It could be of relevance to them instead of just trying to get them into your thing. So you guys, those are my three tips. That is how I was able to actually attract people to me. I do a lot of attraction marketing. I teach attraction marketing. I teach how to build a personal brand. This is how I've been able to enroll 22 people in a month. And I actually had a couple months like that. Um, and, and so it, again, it's, it's targeting the right people, niche down, have the right message for your audience, okay? And then when you do connect with them, um, don't go straight for the pitch. Discover, have that discovery session. And then number three, offer value with the solution if the solution is right for them. Okay, you guys? So I hope you found value in that. If you did, definitely want to share. Like I said, if you're new to me, um, I want you to put hashtag new into the comments. I'm sorry, I haven't even seen who's on. What's up, everybody? How are you guys? I know I kind of just got right into it today. Um, but thanks for tuning in. I'm going to give you guys some shout outs. Let's see. Laura, Laura from the UK is here. What's up? Hey, Erica. Hi, Natalie. Hey, Hillary. How are you, hon? I'll be seeing you hopefully, yeah, soon at No Excuses. Hillary, are you going to be at No Excuses if you're still on? Just put yes. Um, if you are new to me, put hashtag new. Love to connect with you. And like I said, head over to createsuccesswithjulie.com. Grab one of my free resources. They're under feature products. I have many of them there. And if you found value in this, put share. And if you did share, put share in the comments. Um, and I would love to actually send you something extra for free. So. Have an awesome day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm leaving for Mexico on Wednesday <laughs> till Sunday. So I know I just got back from Orlando, but then leaving for Mexico. And then next week I leave for Vegas. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say besides it's, it's a pretty cool life to have. <laughs> right? And that's why I want to, I just want to help you create your own freedom business. All right, guys, I'll talk to you all real soon. Have a good one. Bye.